The next thing you should know about strings is that they are indexed. Every character in a string is assigned a corresponding number based off of its position in the string. So they go from left to right, starting from zero. So the first character in a string is always at position zero, or it has an index of zero. And then it goes up to the end of the string, incrementing each character. So in the case of chicken, which is a seven character string, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the lowest index is zero as always, and the greatest index for that last n, or the only n, is six. So these are really useful uh, for a variety of reasons, but largely for some of the methods we're about to see in the next couple videos, where we can pass in indices to search for portions of a string or to copy portions of a string into a new variable, things like that. There's one other thing I'd like to show you, which is every string has a property called length. We haven't really talked about properties. Properties are just values we can access. So we can ask for length off of hello. What is hello.length? It gives us five. That is the number of characters, one, two, three, four, five. If I have lol, 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 dot length, I have no idea what we'll get, 13. We have 13 characters. And just so we're clear here, every single character in a string matters and is counted. So not just letters or numbers, but spaces. There's also a period in there. It was added uh, automatically by Chrome and I hit two spaces, but that is 10 characters. Even though this has one traditional character, what we would call a character, it's 10 characters long in JavaScript land. So length is something that we can access if we need it, but let's go back to these indices. So let's make a variable. We'll go with let my song equals surfin USA. And I think there's an apostrophe there. So good thing I used double quotes. So we can put that single quote there. And if we look at my song dot length, it has a length of 11. The next piece of syntax I'll show you is how we can use those indices to access individual characters. So if I want the very first character of this string, Here's some new syntax. We use square brackets and we pass in a number corresponding to the position. So index of zero should be the first character, which is S. Index of one gives me U, index of two, and so on. Now, if we take the length again, which is 11, what happens when I try and access my song, square brackets, 11? We get a value called undefined. So we're gonna talk more about undefined and another primitive called null, but undefined means there's nothing there. There isn't a character at index 11, or for that matter, index 110. It's the same exact scenario. It's a different number, but neither of them exists in our string. So the length is always one greater than the last index. In our case, length was 11, so the greatest index that we have is 10. That gives us uppercase A. Strings are not the only things that are indexed by position in JavaScript. We'll see arrays later on, which use the exact same syntax. Uh, they also have a length. So it's a pattern that comes up more than once. Let's say I had some long variable with some gibberish in it. Oh, I messed myself up there. This works though. And if I wanted to access that last character, I could do this gibberish of gibberish.length minus one. And that will give me the very last character. Find the length of the string, whatever it is, subtract one and use that as an index. And we get this character there. One last thing to know about strings and indices. If we have, let's go back to our fave song variable. If I wanted to change this, let's say I want to change the uppercase S to a uppercase D for Durfin USA. If I tried to do that, fave song of zero, equals D, we look at fave song, it's still surfing USA. So we can't actually change strings this way. Strings are immutable in JavaScript, meaning that the individual value is not changeable. In some other languages, you can manipulate one character at a time. If we wanted to create a string that was urfin USA plus a D at the beginning, we would have to make a brand new string and a new variable and take D and then add it to this substring, which we haven't seen how to do yet. So just know that if you're coming from another programming language or if it seems logical to you that you should be able to change individual characters, you cannot do that 
in a given string. That string is the same. It's immutable. 